What's up divas and divos? It's your girl April and today's video is going to be something fun, different, kind of like an instructional video or something to get you guys going, especially if you're new to wigs and you really don't know how to pick out a wig or this is your second, third, fourth wig. Oh girl, this could be your 10th wig and you're still not great at picking out wigs or finding something easy. Then here I am, April, okay, OG Slayer of Wigs on the YT here to help you out, girl. I think like picking out wigs are like, sometimes they can be really easy, really fun, really tedious is so much work it's overwhelming okay like mind you I've, I, I started wearing wigs 14 years ago my daughter was like eight five six months old okay she is now 14 and the first wig that I ever started off with was a synthetic wig and I look back at them now there are a lot of things that I could do differently but there are a lot of different wigs and there are so many different wigs that are out now so when you first start out you definitely want to find something that you know you're gonna wear you don't want to spend like tons and tons of money and you want to try something that's easy like don't go for something that is like you got to glue it all the way around adhere it or hairspray it all the way around and you've never done this before like don't go for anything like that my first wigs has definitely had so many different wigs for beginners to like non-beginner wigs super easy to put on I didn't even have to use any type of glue or adhesion the only place that I adhered this wig was my sideburn hairs I have to have those or else I feel naked all you really need is a really good lace, which this is tinted Swiss lace, honey, multiple see-through. You will slap your mama because you will forget that you're wearing a wig, okay? Try to get something that is going to be easy to maintain. I like this curly one right here. I didn't have to do much. It fits comfortably. There's a black elastic band in the back, which makes it so much more snug. I'm not gonna say that the first couple tries are gonna be the easiest and the best, but I guarantee you and promise you that if you choose a wig, that is easy maintenance. My first wigs has loads of different wigs that you can choose from that are really easy. They make it to where you don't have to pluck the hairline to make it look like it's grown out of your scalp. As you guys can tell, this hairline is amazing. I didn't pluck it. I didn't do anything to this one. This one, all I did was wash it and you know, there, there it goes. I did bleach it a little bit extra, even though it did come to me already bleached. I like my way. I like things to be like, the way that I like them and that's okay because I've been doing this for a while but if you don't know how to bleach wigs there's loads of different tutorials but if you don't want to try it out at all and you don't feel comfortable then by all means get you a nice my first wigs wig where you don't have to bleach it you don't have to pluck it all you have to do is wash it and throw it on and girl you are so instantly cute so guys we're gonna start off with how your wig comes from my first wigs so this is the wig unit this is after I've washed it after I have went ahead and added my own little special touches, which you definitely don't have to do. This is a 13 by six lace frontal, and this is the natural hairline of it. This is their deep pre-pluction. You don't have to get a deep pre-pluction. I don't even know if that's the word, but this is what it looks like. So for those of you guys who are new to wigs, you definitely don't have to do anything extra like so. It does come with combs and also an adjustable black elastic band, which you can use to make it fit more tighter. As well as that, it also does come with a comb and an adjustable strap in the nape. So you guys, if you guys are ready, I'm going to show you guys how your wig comes from my first wig. You're so much deeper when you quit playing charades yeah. You act so cool but underneath you seem afraid There's something sweet about your eyes when you feel safe yeah. You keep running away Owe it to yourself to bear Just try to open up and show someone you care It might not be intentional but you seem scared Just try to open up and let it lead somewhere Breathe in some love and let yourself on fold. Breathe in some love and let yourself on fold. There's something juvenile about your pretty face, but it seems so hard for you to know when you need space. I hope you find your peace and that you get a taste. With yourself Oh Yeah Let yourself unfold Mmm Yeah Let yourself 
yourself on full Owe it to yourself today Just try to open up and show someone you care It might not be intentional but you seem scared now I want to take the time just to show you guys what my first wig official website does look like. As you guys can see here, they do offer plenty of different put on and go wigs from headband wigs to pre-customized wigs to lace frontals. Now, as you guys can see, there are plenty of different units to choose from on My First Wigs. These are their headband wigs, which may be a great starter for those who are new to this. But then there are loads of different frontals, full lace wigs, and so forth. Now, this is a Malaysian lace frontal unit. This is a 13 by 6 and her name is Brittany. You can choose the different lengths as well as the lace color as you see I'm clicking on. And this is the part where it shows a pre-plucked hairline. So if you are not very familiar with that, it will show you the difference in what a natural pre-plucked or deep pre-plucked hairline will look like. You'll also be able to choose that as well as an adjustable strap, black elastic band basically, which is already included in the price. It's free. Flyaway Tamer. This hair is just for those short hairs that may stick up. This is like a wax stick and is great for just keeping messy flyaway hairs down and also great for when you are hot combing your unit if need be. I love the Flyaway Tamer and that's also available for sale on my first week's website. Now you'll definitely need to know the size of your head circumference and this shows you how to measure it. This unit is beautiful. It comes curly. This is a curly lace frontal. And what I have on my head is the silicone wig grip. Now, prior to any type of installation on a unit, you definitely need to make sure that you're cleaning off any type of oils or makeup from your hairline. If you don't have any, I still would suggest cleaning it up. You can either put your wig on this particular way, which I kind of like just doing, or you can also put it on this way as well over the top which I do see a lot of people doing on YouTube. Whatever way makes you feel comfortable, that is the best way to put on a unit. So you can follow your own way or you can also try different methods of how to put on the wig, but whatever wig makes you feel more comfortable, I would suggest that. Now, as you guys see, this hairline is beautiful. This is their deep pre-pluck and it is amazing. Girl, it looks like it's grown out of my scalp. I like to use thread snip scissors, but you can use anything that you feel comfortable with. I would suggest getting a small pair of scissors versus anything really large because you don't want to accidentally cut. A lot of wigs already do come to fit standard sizes. And when it comes to standard average size wig caps, some of them may be a little bit too big. As you see here, this unit is overlapping my ear. So what I do is I part it directly over my ear, as you guys see that part right there, and I just take my scissors and my thread snips and then I cut onto that part, which does not take anything away from the wig, but it allows the wig to sit flat and flush to my natural hairline. Then I just take my scissors and I cut off that excess lace, and you repeat this on the opposite side. can do these extra steps if you want to, but I'm a type of person who really does like sideburn hairs. I just feel like if I don't have them, I'm going to feel naked. Now, you don't have to do this. You don't even have to apply baby hairs if you don't want to, but I'm going to just use some sideburn hairs, and I'm also going to be using my styling mousse. This is a great option to keep your hair from being not hard and crunchy. The styling mousse that I use is from the Dollar Tree and it's called Salon Selectives. It definitely will scope and hold your baby hairs or sideburn hairs down. And the best thing about it is it's only a dollar. The elastic that I'm using here is something that I've sewn together just to allow my baby hairs or sideburns to just dry in place while I style and curl or just style my hair. I do want the hair curls to just be a little bit more tamed, so I am going to be using some of this water, which also has conditioner in it.
you don't want to dry the hair out. So make sure that you put a little bit of hair conditioner in the bottle of water. It can be leave-in conditioner and it can be just regular conditioner. As long as you have some type of conditioner in your bottle of water, this will keep your hair moist and moisturized so that way it does not dry out. You do not want your curly or wavy hair to get dry and brittle. So moisturization is the key and it's very important. This will keep the hair soft and non-brittle. Now y'all see them curls are popping, honey. They are popping. The parting is great in this. The scalpage is great. The lace is tinted. My First Wigs is an easy website for those who do not know much about applying a wig or how to care for one. And as well as that, even if you do know a lot about caring for a wig and so forth, you don't have to worry because My First Wigs has all the tools and hair units that's ready available for when you're ready to purchase your first wig. Natural hairlines, natural hairlines, girl. Meltability, lace that you won't even be able to see detect, which is really crucial when wearing a wig. I know for myself when I first started out, it was a little bit harder, but now with my first wigs, they make applying a wig so easy, effortlessly, and really not much work needed. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial for those who are new to wigs or just for those who just needed a little bit of extra help. My first wigs definitely has you covered and so do I girl. The slayers is real over at my first wig so check them out. I will post all of their information below for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. All of the information from my first wigs will be down below. And make sure to make comment and subscribe, y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next one.